Look, at the minute, we're waiting on more and people who have organised today's demonstration because she's been invi uh, uh, interviewed by the BBC. I, I just wanted to say, really, what all of us are thinking. We're being treated like rubbish. Yeah. Our people are being murdered. Yeah. Our people are being bloody murdered. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else. I grew up on the Regent's Park estate in central London. What stuff over it, cladding all over now and stuff at Morton and Crescent and other places. I, I used to live on the, on the estate of Queen's Park in a tower block there. What right, stuff, look at the flats that have gone up there. What right, stuff, and look what they're doing to us, right? Council housing used to be safe, we used to be affordable, we could put our children in, we could put them in bed at night, and we knew they'd wake, wake up alive in the bloody morning. And the thing that sums this up, the thing that sums this up, Jeremy Corbyn goes down and meets the people. Jeremy Corbyn hugs the people who have suffered. Jeremy Corbyn cries alongside the people who have suffered. But what does Theresa May do? She can't face them. She can't face them. Because the man who is in charge of her backroom stuff at number 10 was the bloody housing minister who sat on the legislation since 2009 about those sprinklers and they murdered those children. They murdered those children. Education, making sure I'm in a rich state of bloody university, yes, and now yes, he yes, sums yes. it up. And that night, there could be over 150 people killed in there. Yes. Who's on the front line? Yes. Our firefighters are on the front line. Who yes. shut the fire, fire station? Boris Johnson shut the fire yes. station. He should be in prison. He shouldn't yes. be a bloody MP. Yes. People in Kensington might be attacked tonight because they dared to occupy the town hall. Why have they done it? Because nobody bloody listens! Nobody listens! Unless we take to the streets, nobody listens to us! And that's why we have to start to organise! This can't be something they sweep under the carpet! It can't be something in too late time that we've all calmed down about! Because what happens if another bloody block of flats goes up in flames? What happens then? And so tonight, the people in Kensington, as far as we know, are starting to talk about marching down into central London. Yes. They're talking about marching down into central London, which seems to me, we'll listen to some people speak, and that's brilliant. But there is a place where somebody has a lovely home that we should go to in a minute. It's called 10 Downing Street. Yes. It's called 10 Downing Street. Yes. Because that woman should not be in 10 Downing Street. Yes. She is not fit. To be the Prime Minister in this country! She's yeah. to be the Prime Minister in this country! Yeah. Theresa May should go! She should she resign! Go. She should go there! Yeah. And the people who are responsible for this should be prosecuted and in jail! Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. 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 a teacher. I'm doing a lot of anti-gentrification work in Kensington and Chelsea.